Hello, my name is Vikas Pota. The reason why we're organizing this global showcase for World Education Week is we believe that schools have incredible expertise in making sure that learning outcomes improve. Given the state of the world, we want to see the expertise from this particular school being replicated in schools all over our planet so that the world becomes better for everyone. That is why I congratulate this school for what it does and hope that those listening can, can take away conclusions as to how they should actually approach their own improvement journeys. Thank you all for participating, and I look forward to seeing you in many of the other events this coming week. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for supporting this incredible work, without whom we couldn't have put together this global showcase. Thank you, and I wish you well for this event. Fast-paced social, economic and technology-driven change is redefining our world. And having a broad range of skills such as creativity and problem solving has become far more important than being able to memorise information. To redefine how our children learn and to empower them for the future, parents, teachers and policymakers must stop overlooking a powerful part of the solution. Learning through play. Play is the rocket fuel of child development, and there is a growing body of evidence to support that play is fundamental for children's positive growth and well-being over time. It is also an essential way to foster the skills required to thrive in today's world. The LEGO Foundation aims to build a future in which learning through play empowers children to become creative, engaged, lifelong learners. To do so, we work with a range of partners around the world to change the hearts and minds of all of those who influence children's lives through our programmes, research and advocacy, so they can all embrace the transformative power of play. Examples of what we do include making sure that caregivers, practitioners and policymakers understand the importance of play, investigating, testing and scaling new ways to bring play-based learning into homes and schools, using play to help millions of the world's most vulnerable children cope with adverse childhood experiences and toxic stress. Or conducting research with some of the world's leading research institutions. Please visit our website and follow us on social media to learn more. Language connects us all. It's how friendships are formed, ideas are shared, and lessons are learned. Language is how we find understanding and express love. It's how we communicate our successes, both big and small. It lays the groundwork for learning and growth. And for an increasingly diverse student population, it can be the key to achievement in school and beyond. That's why Rosetta Stone Education is dedicated to language and literacy. We offer solutions designed to support teachers and their emergent bilingual students, recognizing and celebrating the knowledge, culture, and languages they bring to our classrooms. Our products are founded on the adaptive blended learning model for individual needs, continuous progress monitoring for better learning outcomes, and culturally responsive pedagogies for more inclusive classrooms. With solutions aligned with proficiency standards, we support language learning while exploring academic subject areas, paving the way to better outcomes. Because for all of us, language is everything. community. 
We talk a lot about teachers these days, but we rarely listen to them. Therefore, I am truly excited to join the T4 World Education Week to hear from teachers and school leaders all over the world how we can impact learning together. I am particularly looking forward to the Global Showcase. 100 schools sharing their expertise and best practices, I believe, will be a huge motivation for other schools around the globe. I'm equally impressed by the T4 Solutions Challenge, its finalists and their solutions to real-world issues in education. This gives me hope that we can, together, turn around education globally. The Jacobs Foundation is a proud supporter of the T4 World Education Week because we share a vision to reimagine learning and education by bringing together the brightest people who understand how children learn. Let's do this together. Gentlemen, this is the webinar you've been waiting for. A learning session that will leave you wanting more. The story of Danoon Grammar's creative learning journey. You'll definitely not want to be leaving here in a hurry.
hear it for our amazing Highland dancers. <laughs> Welcome to Tadoon Grammar School in Argyll and Butte, Scotland. We are delighted that you have taken the time to join us today from all corners of the globe. Prepare to be amazed as you meet a number of incredible acts who will take you through our school's enterprise and creative learning story. We will also be joined today by our friends from Scotland's enterprising schools who have been a fantastic support to our school community. If you have any questions during today's presentation, please do not hesitate to post these in the chat facility and we will do our best to answer these at the end of the session. Don't forget to include your location in your post. Closed captions are also available in this live video with options for Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Hindi and Spanish. OK, roll up, roll up. It's time for our first act and what an act we have lined up for you. Let's hear it for our High Wire Hebe. <laughs> Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. My name is David Mitchell and I'm the head teacher here at Doreen Grammar School. And as you can see, like all school leaders, I have to try and balance the demands of leadership, ensuring that our curriculum is exciting and that our young people enjoy their learning. Doreen Grammar School is a school, a rural school based in the west coast of Scotland. The town has a population of approximately 9,000 and we have a school role of 100, 712. Our school vision states that we see Doreen Grammar School as a school at the heart of our community where we're striving together to achieve excellence, something that we truly believe in. And we feel that enterprise is a catalyst to our school actively living out our vision. And we feel that enterprise is the greatest show in our school. But please don't worry, I'm not going to sing. Hooray! Enterprise in our school could be broken down into a number of key acts, which you'll hear about during our session. But leadership plays an important role in developing enterprising activities and skills in our school. As head teacher, I've encouraged our staff to incorporate enterprising activities into their curriculum and lessons. And I've given the strate strategic leadership of enterprise to one of the deputy head teachers who, is, has, who has the overview of all these activities taking place. This includes developing our workforce for the future and looking at uh, developing skills for learning, life and work. We've put so much emphasis on enterprise, we've designed our timetable to allow our young people to experience real life learning activities. And our teaching staff have thrived on this opportunity and have been very creative with their ideas. But leadership does not only come from our staff in our school. We've seen our young people's leadership skills grow and seen them taking a lead in their own learning. And as I say, seeing their confidence grow. Curriculum for Excellence has allowed Scottish schools flexibility in their curriculum and opened up exciting learning opportunities. But from the onset, we wanted to ensure that enterprise was not just a bolt on, but integral to our day to day learning and teaching. We didn't want it to be one off activities like bake sales. We had faith in our staff to find the opportunities to fit enterprise within the curriculum. And in time, staff have grown in confidence and have looked outwards and been proactive in developing partnerships with local and national partners. And we work very closely with these partners. Young Enterprise Scotland have been a great support to our school by assisting us in the delivery of our company programme and the Tenor Challenge, where we see each S2 pupil being given £10 to come up with an exciting idea to increase that amount, and they get to keep the profit. However, majority of our young people donate some of their takings to local charities. We've also developed strong partnerships with Apps for Good, where our young people are asked to design an app. And the ideas from our young people have been absolutely amazing. And during the last four years, our school has won a number of national awards as well as been crowned Scottish champions. And in fact, one of our teachers was named Apps for Good UK Educator of the Year. We also work closely with the Wood Foundation through our Youth Philanthropy Initiative, the YPI Initiative, where our young people have to investigate a social issue within the local community. And each year, the programme donates £3,000, yes, £3,000 to a local charity. We've also built up a number of local partnerships, which include the Dunoon Film Festival. And we are also lucky to have the support of Scotland's enterprising schools, who you'll be hearing from later on. All of these activities provide our young people with rich experiential learning opportunities to develop skills for learning, life and work. 
Through these activities, our young people grow in confidence and have the opportunity to generate ideas and implement these ideas in a safe environment. And they also get to work on core skills such as communication, teamwork, literacy, numeracy, problem solving, and of course, leadership. And these are the skills that are transferable for a diverse range of future career opportunities for our young people. Our recent local, national, and even international successes when we won the JA Entrepreneurial School of the Year have certainly increased the belief for our young people that there is no limit on what they can achieve, even though we live in a rural area. We truly believe that enterprising activities are key to doing grammar school success and developing a culture of respect and responsibility. Our school ethos is driven by the skills that our young people are learning. We will continue to develop creative and innovative tasks for our young people. And as I said earlier, there is no limit to what our school and your school can achieve through enterprise. Thank you. Wow, what a feat of courage and control. That applies to those high wire antics and the leadership shown by Mr. Mitchell in championing the creative cause here in Dunoon Grammar School. Let's hear it for Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> now it's time for our second act. Prepare to be mystified with our marvellous techno wizards. Abracadabra. That's not what I wanted. Can I please borrow your hat cane? Of course. No bother. Alakazam. My name is Stuart and I am the Techno Wizard. Digital skills are essential to our current learning and of course our futures. That's why the development of digital skills is such a key part of all activities here in Dunoon Grammar School. We use the latest technologies to create, communicate and collaborate with each other, staff, partners, industry experts and our external community. As you can imagine, we use a range of technologies for this from office applications to multimedia production platforms to the latest social media and web conferencing channels. But it is not only the use of technology that is embedded in our day-to-day -day activities. Our young people are at the cutting edge of making and coding the technologies of the future. Through working with our fantastic partners, Apps for Good, our young people are generating and developing Internet of Things products and machine learning solutions to solve key issues in our society. Their creativity and effectiveness in doing so has been recognised by the Apps for Good over the last few years. Teams from our school have won the last four Scottish national events, won at the last four UK finals, including being crowned UK School of the Year. <laughs> Examples of new technologies coded by our young people include Epic Pen, a smart autoimmune injector that notifies loved ones and emergency services if used, and SafeStep, a smart bedroom map that will detect if someone has fallen and notifies emergency services. Working with and creating the latest technologies is a key part of everyday life in Dunoon Ground School, ensuring our young people can become a techno wizard like me. Spellbinding stuff there from our techno wizard. Let's hear it for our marvellous magician. <laughs> OK, and up next is a feat of sheer power and strength. I'm delighted to introduce to you our social responsibility strong woman. I am so strong. In fact, I don't think anyone at Dunoon Grammar School is as strong as me. I am Lily. Everything we do at Dunoon Grammar School brings our vision statement to life. We keep our promise of being at the heart of our community, working together to achieve excellence for all. We accept that our young people are not only the future, but the here and now, willing and certainly able to make a positive difference to their local, national and international communities. Our young people's willingness to accept a social dimension to their activities has been reflected in their involvement in a number of national events, focusing on their work to address racism, mental health issues, and bullying. All of our young people work on the Youth Philanthropy Initiative, facilitated by the wonderful Wood Foundation. In this rich learning experience, our young people, working in teams, identify a local social issue and research local grassroots charities that support this issue. 
The young people are then tasked to create a pitch as to why their charity is deserving of being given a free thousand pound award. Our young people are then our young people rise to this challenge every year, producing powerful, impactful, emotive, and certainly creative pitches to try and scoop the award for their charity. The project ends with a showcase grand final, where our school and local community joins together. The winning team is selected by a panel of judges, including elected members of local and national parliaments, alongside pupils and staff of the school. You could say we have strong links to all parts of our society, and our young people make a powerful contribution to improving our communities. I'm certainly keeping in your good books. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our social responsibility strong women. <laughs> Building creative capacity in our young people is at the heart of all we do. With great pleasure, let me introduce to you our creativity clown. <laughs> Hello, we are Dunan Grammar School's Creativity Clowns. My name is Sophie and I'm Jessie. Creativity is a big motivator in young people's learning. At Dunan Grammar School, creativity is used to stimulate and support young people and in developing into successful learners within our school community and society in general. Much of our learning involves generating and developing ideas to solve problems. We lead this learning. Staff are less the sage on the stage, but guides by our side. <laughs> our young people organise pop-up screenings as part of the annual Dunin Film Festival. This gives them a hands-on event administration experience with real and relevant context. All of our young people also participate on the Tenor Challenge facilitated by our friends at Young Enterprise Scotland. All of our young people are given £10 to set up an enterprise with the aim of generating profit. The range of businesses our young people establish during this active experience is magnificent and many of them go on to donate much of their profits to charity, and including those covered in their work on YPI mentioned earlier. Our young people's work on the Tenor Challenge has been recognised by the annual UK Awards with their group winning Best UK Pop-Up Shop and one of our individuals being announced only last week as the most inspiring individual for 2020. As you can see, when it comes to creativity in Dunning Grammar School, there is very little clowning around. These two never stop clowning around. You should see the two of them in drama. Put your hands together for our two creativity clowns. <laughs> Dunning Grammar's innovative approaches to learning are flexible and include all of our young people all of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our amazing All Aboard Acrobats! Woo! All aboard! All aboard! Let's continue to develop our enterprising skills. Enterprise is part of everyday life here in Dunoon Grammar School. Our pupils experience enterprise across the whole school in a variety of subjects. From participating in Dragon's Den in English to designing, producing and selling products in art and technical. It is clear that enterprise is for all in our school and ensures our pupils leave as competent individuals. This is particularly the case in our learning centre, which is for pupils with severe and complex needs. The entire learning centre curriculum has been designed and driven by enterprise. Our learning centre pupils arrange a number of events throughout the session, including an annual Christmas fair, where they sell products that they make throughout the year. Items like raspberry jam, Christmas decorations and jewellery. For Den Syndrome Day, they organise a bake sale to educate people about Den Syndrome and to generate money for charity. Throughout the year, they sell plants and vegetables that they grow in the school garden which has won the pupils involved in award as part of the National Scotland in Bloom competition. Her Majesty's School Inspectorate praised Dunoon Grammar School's approaches to enterprise education in a recent school inspection and will shortly share these approaches to schools across our country as a case study. Wasn't that just amazing how artistic they were and indeed our school's approaches to creative learning for all? Round of applause for our All Aboard Acrobats! <laughs> Hi, Kate. I heard you needing a hand. Yeah, that would be great, Ian. We're a wee bit short of an act. A communications cannonball. A what? Here you are. Our final act. An explosive end to our greatest showcase. 
Our communication is cannonball. Ta-da! That was fun. A great way to travel. I've just seen the island school's new communications cannonball. Communication skills are vital to your people's academic and personal success. Engineering grammar school, our pupils are able to communicate effectively with each other, the teachers, partners and friends of our schools. Pupils develop communication skills to deal with different enterprise scenarios and projects throughout in grammar school. For example, all pupils are involved in the subway challenge, working in two teams to design a new sub to be sold in subway stores. They visit local schools and are involved in question and answering sessions with subway staff and learn how to ask relevant and engaging questions. Pupils also need to be able to communicate effectively as a part of a team. Pupils prepare a presentation to give their peers and judging panel, emphasizing health, energy, and cost. How the sub new sub would be promoted using eye catching materials. They create a press campaign and radio advert using social media. Two teams represent the new grammar school at the most recent national finals being placed first and second. The winning team have new product ideas sold in sub stores throughout the west of Scotland. Our young people soar on these many other projects that rely on effective use of communication skills. As we all agree, these are essential skills for learning, life and work. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our brave human cannonball! <laughs> I hope you've all had a ball too. Before we pass on to our great friends from Scotland's Enterprising Schools, I would like to welcome Pippa, who is going to rec recite a poem from our much-loved National Bard, Robert Burns. Here is Pepper with A Fond Kiss. A Fond Kiss, and then we sever. A Farewell, Alas, Forever. A Tears, I'll pledge thee. Warring sighs and words, I'll wage thee. Had we never. Loved you kindly. Had we never loved you kindly. Never met or never parted. We'd never been parted. Fare thee weal, thy first and fairest. Fare thee weal, thy best and dearest. Find be alpha, joy and treasure. Peace, enjoyment, love and pleasure. A fond kiss, and then we sever. A farewell, alas, forever. Deep in heart, no tears, I'll pledge thee. Boring sighs and groans, I'll wage thee. Thank you, Peppa. That was wonderful. We could not provide the rich, experiential, creative and enterprising learning without the support of many partners. It is with great delight that I introduce you to one such partner, Scotland's Enterprising Schools. They have been a tremendous support to our school community. Lynn from Scotland's Enterprising Schools will now share how they have supported us and indeed the schools, every school across our nation. Thank you, Ken. What a great host we have for today. And what a showcase of talent we've had so far. First of all, thank you so much to the Noon Grammar School for inviting us to be part of your session for World Education Week. We are Scotland Enterprising Schools and we have a musical theatre s style presentation for you all. More on that later. Because first, I want to tell you a wee bit about what we do and why we do it. So SES launched in 2015 as a dedicated online portal to support teaching practitioners with the delivery of the Scotland Can Do Network. So what does that mean? Well, we work with teachers and educators and partner organisations to support schools with their creative enterprise journey from planning through to implementation and review. Our Scottish Government funding enables us to achieve our aim of empowering children and young people with the skills that they need to for life, learning and work. 
We do this by providing training and support for teachers to be creative and confident in embedding enterprise education within the curriculum. We also inspire teachers by sharing case studies from creative schools and organisations. And we provide lesson plans and resources for educators of 3 to 18 year olds. So in keeping with today's theme, I was asked to come along and perform a song for you. So of course we thought, let's do a song from The Day to Showman. But we didn't have the license for that music. So we didn't let that stop us. We thought, you know, true enterprise and style, we'll just write our own song. And we have. But then we had the restrictions that we couldn't sing it today. But we didn't let that stop us either. So in true showbiz style, I pre-recorded what you're about to hear last night. And for the first time in my musical career, I'm going to mine to myself. So, you know, there's a first for everything. But we can sing along home. Enterprise, they say, should be embedded from the start. Scotland, we have less the talents here. Enterprise, they say, while it's written in the stars. These skills are vital for success. You'll stand apart from all the rest. When the world has to waste, I shall overwhelm you. Use a pretense, let us help you. To step back and breathe. Be who you're meant to be. You know all you can achieve, but that's the end. Enterprise means no stop, stop, and road resources and more we got. Share stories, help me to muse and see. Join a free community at SES. At SES. And the world reflect on it and realize your skills. Invest in your future. Who knows what you'll become? Your skills are vital for success. You'll stand apart from all the worst. When the world outside starts to overwhelm you. Of all you can achieve with SES. 
Um, by all the creative stories uh, and work that we see um, in Scotland Enterprise and Schools. So we thought we'd share a few of those stories with you today and hopefully inspire you too. So first of all, I want to tell you um, about this project that we worked on earlier this year with Westerfield Nursery, which is in the city centre of Glasgow. And at Western Craig, children learn through active play, which is mainly outdoors um, whenever possible. They play, they plan, they practice, they pretend, they talk about, they record and review indoors a little too. The weather in Scotland is not always great. But the biggest excitement in in-depth learning takes place all around the community. The children are involved in planning and developing every aspect of their learning. And this has been particularly impressive to see in the construction of their outdoor thought school. The children made a wish list of everything they'd like and were also involved in sorting some of the items and sometimes they even haggled for a bargain too and in Scotland that means negotiating on price. Um, the staff and uh, children apply their creativity and learning and sharing all through this experience and they share that with others too. They make videos, artwork, and they use music to apply their skills and encourage others to expand horizons, raise expectations, and raise the ambitions of their children. The staff at Wester Craigs continue to facilitate their three and four year olds to develop their skills for learning, life, and work. Wow, I think that's amazing. So I think that deserves a round of applause. Another personal favourite um, of ours there at Scotland Enterprise and Schools comes from the online challenges we actually produced um, during lockdown in collaboration with Young Enterprise Scotland. And this is a story of two brothers, Luke and Ben, who are both in primary school. The brothers showed real creativity, enthusiasm and dedication by entering quite a number of our challenges, so they caught our attention. Um, but they did really take on board the feedback we gave them of the weeks and they decided to work together on one of our projects to create an eco-friendly festival. Now their festival featured bands with instruments made from recycled materials, a swap shop, an arts and crafts tent teaching people how to recycle junk and they even recycled their own items and included photographs when they presented this in their pitch desk. They considered every aspect of creating and running a festival from planning, to marketing and they even suggested the one and only David Attenborough as their special guest with the idea of being he was come along and introduced the day he conducted the interviews and they even had local media get involved and they thought of everything so well done again um, to look in vain and a round of applause to you definitely going to festival like that I don't know about you finally um, we'd like to share the case study um, of the Dalvin Academy to achieve the accolade of Scotland's most enterprise in school 2020. Pupils at this school began their enterprise journey in primary school and they worked on projects um, including the one that they were recognised for, Works Bag Company. So this initiative um, was to design and sell reusable tote bags just in time for Christmas and the pupils successfully set up a business team taking on various roles such as advertising and sales to design and sell the bags to the local community. After that, the pupils would then start high school and then they continue to build on all the entrepreneurial skills that they've learned. And they do this in S1 and S2. They do this as part of a weekly enterprise class schedule and then they have a full enterprise indeed by the time they reach S3. The school and local businesses work really hard together um, to establish longer term agreements and that's going to benefit everybody, you know, pupils and businesses alike. We actually have a quote here from the project officer at the Academy called Monica Young. Monica said the school's location out in the country gives enterprise a special place. 
their catchment area is also home to twice as many self-employed people as a centre of care. The school has worked hard to reflect this within the curriculum and equip our pupils with the skills to thrive in the area which they live. What a fantastic thing to be able to say about their local area. So round of applause again. Um, so I'd like to invite on uh, us now the project manager for Scottish Enterprise Schools, Julie Degman, who is the best person for you to tell us a wee bit more about what we do. How are you, Julie? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> We're not going to sing, it's all right. <laughs> so can you just tell us a wee bit about the SES team? Who's behind the scenes making all these fantastic things happen? Yeah, we have a tiny team of two actually, um, myself and Lucy, and we come from a, an enterprising background. We also have education and journalism on our CVs. Um, but in order to do the work that we do, we rely on partnerships, friendships like we have today at Dunoon, um, and other um, schools, teachers, and partners and organisations as well. We could not do what we do with just the two of us. So we really rely heavily on collaboration. Yeah, and it sounds like there's a real widespread of, of work that happens. So does enterprise, um, is it usually taught in a particular curriculum area or how is it usually delivered? Well, we're very lucky in Scotland, enterprise is part of our curriculum for excellence. So um, it's actually interdisciplinary. It happens in every subject. We're not just teaching subject specific skills, we're teaching skills for learning life and work. So it happens across the board, right from nursery, as you mentioned, right through to secondary. And with the aim of really equipping our young people for a really successful life beyond school as well. So it happens throughout. We're very lucky. Yeah, absolutely. So I believe we've got quite a few schools that might be tuning in to this um, event for this week. So I suppose that's an opportunity to tell everyone, you know, if you could sum up why you think enterprise should be embedded into education. Absolutely, it's, it's a no-brainer for us. Enterprise really sets your young people up for success in the future. Um, when you're doing enterprise activities, you're practicing your problem solving, you're practicing creativity, innovation, much like you've seen today, and that is setting our young people up for a really successful future. Um, Another particular skill that we found that we've relied on heavily recently is resilience. And what I love about enterprise is that when you are starting out on your journey, you're going to meet a lot of failures along the way. And actually, that's OK. And it's important that our young people realise it's OK to fail. But what's important is to get yourself back up again and get on your way. So resilience is a, a top enterprise skill that we hope our children and our young people in Scotland will have before they leave school. Yeah, absolutely. And testament to today, you know, we've managed to make today work, which is fantastic. We've made it virtual, so enterprise always finding the solution. So just to summarise, um, we bit about SES, and you can tune in to the song later because it covers these points. But we are fully funded by the Scottish Government. OK, so that means it's completely free to join our community. Okay? That's free for the resources and all the plans and everything that you'll find on the website, which are all downloadable. Hopefully you were inspired by some of those stories that I told you, but we also want to hear about your stories. So please get in touch with us via the website and tell us a bit about you and your journey and let's share that success together. Also, we've got lots of enthusiastic, experienced partners that can work directly with children and young people to develop their enterprising skills. We've got outdoor citizen scientists and we've got pupils experiencing history firsthand through virtual reality. We've got students solving local problems through social enterprise models and they're setting up businesses with the aim to save the planet. So what a way to end on such a positive end goal to have. So please, if you haven't already, I'm sure you're grabbing your phones right now, but please sign up and join us at scottishenterpriseandschools.scot. We hope to see you there. Thank you. Thanks again to the Noon Grammar School. Wasn't that just amazing? We have so much to thank Scotland's enterprising schools for. They have been a constant support to our school community. And that's us nearing the end to our greatest showcase, where we have shared with you our approaches to creative and enterprising learning and teaching. We really hope you have found it informative and entertaining. We've got some time now to answer some of your questions from the chat, so please post any you have now. We are going to invite our high wire heady, Mr Mitchell back to answer some of your questions. So, Mr Mitchell, first of all, 
What's next for your school and its creative learning journey? I think the school has been so successful over the last three, four years regarding enterprise um, that our first priority is to ensure that we continue to embed that in, in our curriculum. It's, it's key to um, our broad general education curriculum for our S1 to S3 pupils, but I think our next step has to be looking at enterprising activities within our senior phase um, and trying to develop enterprise within the S4 and S6 curriculum, which is difficult when you're preparing for examinations. But also one of our other priorities has to be looking at um, what Redalbin have looked at and trying to look at how we can develop enterprising activities from primary schools through into our secondary school. What has been the biggest hurdle that you have faced on this journey and how have you overcome it? The biggest hurdle, I have to say, was probably um, making sure that enterprise wasn't a bolt on in, in the curriculum. It wasn't just going to be added on for something to do. It had to be integral to what was happening in our school. Um, and that was the biggest challenge because we had to change the mindset of our community, our school community and local community, but also the community of our young people. Um, but intruding in grammar school style, every single person has flourished by developing enterprising activities um, in our school, school. And I'm extremely lucky as head teacher to have such talented staff and pupils and partners and parents around Dunoon. And uh, our final question, do the young people enjoy this way of working? Yes, they do. Um, and you probably heard today um, that one of our young people um, received the most inspirational um, award through the Tenor Challenge this year. And I'm going to ask her to come on to say a few words about that, Emma. So, uh, how get the back. Uh, do you enjoy the way of enterprise and working? Oh, definitely. It's way much funner than just learning from a textbook because you actually get to experience it and live it for yourself. So it's much better that way. That's great. Uh, thank you for that. We actually have one more question uh, for SES. Uh, if you'd like to join us again. So, uh, what training do you offer for teachers? Well, we have um, a lot of training available on our website. We are a GTC accredited organisation, which is in reflection of the high quality of our training. So we have modules online that uh, teachers and other education staff can work their way through. We can go out into schools or local authorities and we can provide training that way. And at the moment, we've been doing a lot of virtual training online as well. So get in touch if you want any training. That's great. Uh, thank you, Mr Mitchell. And thank you, Julie, for that. I'll give you those. Thank you. There are a number of people that I would like to thank today before we finish with a Scottish farewell. First of all, to our fantastic acts today who have entertained and informed us, please give them a final show of appreciation. <laughs> to the staff of our performing arts department who have helped the young people prepare for today, including Charlotte, who organized the wonderful costumes. To our many, many partners who support us throughout the year to deliver a wide range of rich learning experiences. We are truly in debt to you and look forward to working with you for many years to come. To all the staff and pupils in our school who are committed to creative learning and to the organisers of World Education Week who have given us this wonderful platform to share our experiences and approaches with you. And of course to you, our wonderful international audience who have taken the time to be with us today. We really hope that you have challenged your thinking and we hope you can take home and apply our approaches to your own local setting. And now for a traditional close to Scottish events, be it weddings, Hogmanay, or any other events where friends come together. We would like to invite you as our new friends to join us in a rendition of Old Lang Syne. Normally, we would like hands in a circle as we sing. However, the pandemic prevents us from doing so today. So we would ask you to cross your arms and join together as one, virtually from across the globe. We will share the words on the screen to allow you to join in. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old man sign? Or old lang syne, my dear. Or old lang syne. We'll take a cup of kindness yet. The days of old lang syne. 
As we'll tack a good right Willy Watt. We're all line sign. We're all line sign, my dear. We'll tack a cup of kindness yet. For old land sign. Thank you all once again for joining us at Jadun Grammar School today. Enjoy the rest of World Education Week and hopefully we will get see you again soon. Take care. Hello, my name is Vikas Pota. The reason should actually approach their own improvement journeys. Thank you all for participating and I look forward to seeing you. Hello, my name is Vikas Pota. The reason why we're organizing this global showcase for World Education Week is we believe that schools have incredible expertise in making sure that learning outcomes improve. Given the state of the world, we wanna see the expertise from this particular school being replicated in schools all over our planet so that the world becomes better for everyone. That is why I congratulate this school for what it does and hope that those listening can, can take away conclusions as to how they should actually approach their own improvement journeys. Thank you all for participating and I look forward to seeing you in many of the other events this coming week. And I also wanna take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for supporting this incredible work without whom we couldn't have put together this global showcase. Thank you, and I wish you well for this event. Fast-paced social, economic, and technology-driven change is redefining our world. And having a broad range of skills, such as creativity and problem solving, has become far more important than being able to memorize information. To redefine how our children learn, and to empower them for the future, Parents, teachers and policymakers must stop overlooking a powerful part of the solution. Learning through play. Play is the rocket fuel of child development and there is a growing body of evidence to support that play is fundamental for children's positive growth and well-being over time. It is also an essential way to foster the skills required to thrive in today's world. The Lego Foundation aims to build a future in which learning through play empowers children to become creative, engaged, lifelong learners. To do so, we work with a range of partners around the world to change the hearts and minds of all of those who influence children's lives through our programmes, research and advocacy, so they can all embrace the transformative power of play. Examples of what we do include making sure that caregivers, practitioners, and policymakers understand the importance of play, investigating, testing, and scaling new ways to bring play-based learning into homes and schools, using play to help millions of the world's most vulnerable children cope with adverse childhood experiences and toxic stress, or conducting research with some of the world's leading research institutions. Please visit our website, and follow us on social media to learn more.
Language connects us all. It's how friendships are formed, ideas are shared, and lessons are learned. Language is how we find understanding and express love. It's how we communicate our successes, both big and small. It lays the groundwork for learning and growth. And for an increasingly diverse student population, it can be the key to achievement in school and beyond. That's why Rosetta Stone Education is dedicated to language and literacy. We offer solutions designed to support teachers and their emergent bilingual students, recognizing and celebrating the knowledge, culture, and languages they bring to our classrooms. Our products are founded on the adaptive blended learning model for individual needs, continuous progress monitoring for better learning outcomes, and culturally responsive pedagogies for more inclusive classrooms. With solutions aligned with proficiency standards, we support language learning while exploring academic subject areas, paving the way to better outcomes. Because for all of us, language is everything. Dear T4 community, we talk a lot about teachers these days, but we rarely listen to them. Therefore, I am truly excited to join the T4 World Education Week to hear from teachers and school leaders all over the world how we can impact learning together. I am particularly looking forward to the Global Showcase. 100 schools sharing their expertise and best practices, I believe, will be a huge motivation for other schools around the globe. I'm equally impressed by the T4 Solutions Challenge, its finalists and their solutions to real world issues in education. This gives me hope that we can together turn around education globally. The Jacobs Foundation is a proud supporter of the T4 World Education Week because we share a vision to reimagine learning and education by bringing together the brightest people who understand how children learn. Let's do this together.